All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP uh, laptop model 17-BY3053CL. Uh, customer wants to upgrade to an SSD. Um, it's having issues booting, so we're gonna put an SSD and install Windows on it. Um, but I'm just gonna open it up and show the internals, all right? First, we're gonna remove these rubber feet here. Uh, when you peel this up, make sure that you are peeling up the adhesive as well, not just the rubber piece. All right. And we're gonna remove the bottom one as well. Okay, so I just use my fingernail to get under there and peel it up, but you can use whatever works for you, pry tools or whatever. Um, these are different sizes, so make sure you don't mix up the two rubber pieces. The one at the hinges are thicker, is thicker, okay? All right, we're gonna be using a JAS1 screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. You wanna keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern, I remove them. So we got four on the back here, all right? And then we're just gonna continue, all right? If this video helps you out, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, if you can't support the channel that way, um, you could also help out by watching a few of my other videos and then liking and commenting on them as well, because that's what the YouTube algorithm likes to see. All right, if you just wanted to remove the CD drive or optical disk drive, whatever you want to call it, um, you just need to remove that one screw there. And then if you want, you can actually replace that with a hard drive adapter and you can put a second hard drive in there if you wanted. All right, to remove the CD drive, usually I'll go here with my fingernail and just go up and down as I kind of pull on it. And usually it will come out, let's see, this one seems kind of stuck. So maybe, okay, it is coming out. I have to use both sides, there we go. And here we go, we've got the CD drive or optical disc drive out. Um, again, you can replace this with um, a hard drive adapter. You do have to check the measurement of this in millimeters. I think this is the thinner, like seven point whatever millimeter. It doesn't, I don't think it's the 12 millimeter one. Um, but yeah, or nine point something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, measure that. And then um, if you want, if you don't want this big hole here, you will have to pull this thing out, but it is tricky. There's a little hole here to eject the CD drive and then you can have some room to kind of pull that out. But I'm gonna leave that because a lot of times the little clip that holds it breaks, so. It's a little tricky to remove that. All right, anyways, there's two screws here. We're gonna remove those as well. All right, don't forget those two screws. Otherwise, you're gonna damage your computer when you go to take the bottom cover off. Okay, now that we got all those screws out, we're gonna slowly, carefully open the laptop. All right, I'm gonna turn it around this way. And usually what I do is I get my fingernails in this gap here. And then we're going to push on the bottom. So I'm going to go like that. You don't need to open it that far, but I go like this. And then I push just like that. Okay. And then we're going to work our way around the side edge as well. Same thing. Just get in there and pull and push. Okay. This side, I don't know. It's super stuck. So let's see what we can do. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to go over to this side and continue doing the same thing. And then you got this. So there's clips that kind of curve over this way. So we have to pull this plastic that way and lift it up. All right. And sometimes you can't do it from here because this. So I'm gonna be like pushing this in here. And then if you can, you can lift it from in here, but I'm gonna actually be lifting it from out here. Um, all right, so push that inwards and then also pull it up. Let's see if I can, come on. Yeah, it's being tough. Yep, it might be easier to pull up from the middle here. Yep, okay. So I'm pushing this in and then I'm pulling up from this. Just like that. Come on. There we go. All right, and you can see these all came up. Then we're gonna go on this side and then do that. Okay, so we got the whole sides and the front out, okay. Um, it looks like there's a clip inside here somewhere that doesn't want to come out. So, oh, there we go. Okay. And then now that we got that, let's see if we can lift it without lifting the back. Nope. All right. Are we going to have to go from the back here somehow? So I'm going to get my fingernails in there and try and pull that. But that doesn't seem to want to budge. So let's see. What about this side? No. All right. These clips don't seem to want to come out easily. So... 
Let's see, how can we do this? Go over here and then pull on this. No. Nope. Wow, these clips are really strong at the back. Okay. Um, about wiggling it some more. Pulling it up. There we go. Okay, so we just had to kind of lift it and wiggle it more. And here you go. That's what the clips look like. We are going to clean this because it is a little dusty. Um, and actually, this battery looks like it might be about to die so battery here is ht 3 xl all right i'm gonna clean the dust out of here and then i'll be back so let me clean this up real quick but there's the hard drive okay um there's the wireless card here you got the two sticks of ram um it looks like on um it actually supports an m.2 pcie nvme ssd possibly um sometimes it's just a m.2 sata but uh, I quoted the customer thinking it was just a regular hard drive because that's what I saw was in their computer. So that's what we got. We got a two and a half inch SATA SSD. All right, so let me clean this out and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So we clean this out. All right, and clean that out. Okay, so we don't need to remove the battery, but if you did, there's a screw here and here, and then two screws here. Once you remove those, you can actually go from here and pull this up and the the little pins are slot slotted like that and it actually just slots in like this okay anyways there's two sticks of ram we're gonna let me reseat these because i blew all the dust out and i don't want to um i mean sometimes that can cause it to go weird if i don't clean it all right here you go this is a pc4 2666v stick of ram um you can put any pc4 2666v stick of ram um, so if you can find 16 gig sticks or 32 gig sticks, you can go ahead and put those in. All right, CPUs here, soldered to the motherboard, heat sink runs over here. This is how it cools it down. There's a fan here. Um, looks like just these two screws and you can pop it out. The fan connector is right there. Keyboard connector is right here with a little flip latch. Um, I'm not going to mess with all these stuff uh, because the main thing is just upgrading it to an SSD. You have the optical disk drive connector here. And then you have the hard drive connector over here. Okay, um, it looks like the optical disk drive connector is actually underneath the wireless card here. Wireless card there. To pop out the antenna, you just go from here and pull straight up. There's the keyboard backlight connector here, that orangey colored one. All right, and that's also underneath the wireless card. So if you remove the wireless card, one screw, it pops up slightly like the RAM. You can pull it out. Um, there's the SD card slot and the USB port here. I'm um, connected by this one cable that runs underneath uh, and then plugs in somewhere over here. I'm not going to pull everything out, so I'm not 100% sure where exactly it's going, but it looks like it's going under this way where the battery is. All right, you got the touchpad connector here. Um, what's this? There's a loose connector. Okay, I need to pop out the battery because there's something loose here. Let's go ahead and take that out. Let's see what's going on here. That's really strange. Maybe the bulging battery popped it out somehow, but that's kind of strange. All right, we're going to get under here, pull that up. And that's actually for the touchpad, so I don't know how the computer was functioning like that. This cable looks like somebody peeled it up and then plugged it in weird. Anyways, we're going to get that plugged back in properly. Okay, and we'll latch that down. Same thing with the touchpad one, it looks a little crooked. Okay, battery has some dust under it, so let's clean that off a little bit. Okay, uh, keyboard connector. As you can see, this cable for that USB board SD card slot goes underneath the motherboard. Again, there's an M.2 slot here. I think it's PCIe NVMe, but not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and get this thing back into place. All right, get these screws in. And then we'll go over a few more components and get this thing back together completely. All right. There's also an HP spare part model number here, though I usually just go based off the battery model number there. Okay. All right. Okay, and then you got the two speakers, one here and one here, the cable. For this speaker runs underneath to this speaker you can see they both connect right there 
Um, you got the LCD LVDS connector here with the flip latch. If you're going to mess with this, make sure you disconnect the battery, remove the battery, open the laptop, press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds before messing with that. You got the DC jack charge port connector under here. Um, if you're going to remove this, you do have to undo the screws to lift the hinge up. Usually the way I do that is I open the laptop slightly so I can get my hand in there, undo the screws, then lower this down. The hinge will stay slightly up and then I can get underneath the hinge and pull it the rest of the way up. But uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and replace the hard drive here. So the hard drive is just held in with the little rubber feet here. Um, it looks like, okay, let's go ahead and pop this connector off and we might have to remove the battery again to do that, but let's see. I'm going to see if I can get under here. You can see it created a gap. And there we go. Okay, let me zoom in. All right, so you can see we created a gap here. And I can pull this connector out. And there we go. There's the SD, sorry, the SATA connector out. I'm going to go from the two wings of the rubber piece here and lift that up. And this comes out like that. And this doesn't have any screws. They actually just pull away like that. Okay, so there's the old hard drive. Here's the SSD we're going to put in. We're just going to pop the two little rubber feet into the screw holes and then there we go on both sides and then we're gonna slot this in that way and we're gonna get this connector back in and push that into the new drive so we'll get that in and then we'll push that down there we go SSD is installed now we just got to install windows onto it all right so the old um, hard drive or SSD whatever I'll give to the customer um, in case they need some data but anyways, let's zoom out here, and then we're going to just get this thing back together, and that's pretty much it. This is a very simple upgrade repair for the most part. The bottom cover is a little bit tricky to get out. It's not like the old designs where you can just remove one cover and take it out, but uh, it is what it is. All right, we're going to get this back on. We're going to go ahead and clip this in. All right, this design's not crazy terrible to work on, but yeah. It could be better. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and get these screws back in. This one here. And this one here. Make sure that you clipped all the little clips in before doing this because otherwise you might break some plastic trying to do that. All right, and let's just get all these screws and the rubber feet back in and that's pretty much it. Um, to boot from a external um, boot device, USB boot device, I created a Windows 10 USB installer um, to boot from that once you plug it in and turn it on you want to press F9 on boot and then you should be able to select the boot device um, I'll show at least that little bit uh, but the installation part I'm not going to really show that in this video if you need help with that usually just follow the on-screen prompts and it's pretty straightforward okay so anyways we'll get all this in and also, I think I have a video showing that, so if you need that, just let me know, and I can probably find one for you. All right. All these screws in, and then don't forget the rubber feet, of course. Also, because we disconnected the battery, the battery does act as a CMOS or BIOS battery. I think the customer actually said that the battery doesn't hold a charge, so I have to plug it in, um, but we'll see. Maybe I was thinking of another customer. All right, we'll get this in here. Usually I'll get one side started, then we'll go to the other side because the rubber does stretch. You wanna make sure that the stretch goes in towards the center and pushes itself together. All right, and we'll get the other one here. Also take note, the bottom does have like little rubber things that stick out. So you wanna make sure it lines up and you didn't flip it upside down. Otherwise you won't be able to Put the rubber piece in flat. At least a little hair stuck to it. Okay. All right. So get that one in as well, and then work your way up to the center here. Okay. Just like that. Let's go ahead and flip this back over. They put this little cover on it. All right. And then we're gonna put our bootable USB and boot up by pressing F9. I'll have to see if I have to plug it in. But, uh, power it up. So much dust. 
All right, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to plug this in because I don't see any power or lights or anything. So let me get their charger and yeah, I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. All right, as you can see, I got the charger, plugged it in. Let's power it up now. There's no light on the power button or anything, so I don't know if it's on. Hmm. Is it on? Does it not? Oh wait, I do see a power light here. So it's probably on and it's probably starting up with the CMOS BIOS reset because the battery was disconnected. So let's give it some time. Oh, I see the screen and there we go. All right, oops, we do have to, it might be booting because I did put something on the hard drive before, but hmm, it's staying on the HP screen. Let's shut it off. Okay, let's power it back on and we'll press F9 now on boot and let's see if it'll go to the BIOS. Hopefully it will go to the boot menu. All right, there you go. Change boot device uh, order. Here we go. We'll boot from the SanDisk and it should be starting the Windows 10 installation. So we should be getting the little circle things here, but it's taking a while for some reason. Hopefully it's not some other weird hardware issue because this is taking much longer than it should. Hmm. Maybe there is some other hardware issue other than just the hard drive. We'll see. Oh, okay, there it's spinning. Wait, did I put the Windows 11 drive? Oops, I didn't mean to boot from the Windows 11 one. Let's turn this off. The Windows 11 one, um, a lot of computers, if they're older, they don't support Windows 11 yet, so I don't wanna use Windows 11. Also, Windows 11 has uh, a lot of issues with older computers, especially finding drivers and stuff. So let's boot it again with Windows 10. Sorry about that. Okay, did I power it on? Okay, there we go. Starting up. And this one should boot faster. There you go. Windows 10, 64-bit. And yeah, the Windows installation process should be pretty much the same as every other computer. So usually I like to do custom, make sure that the drive is completely um, uh, deleted, unallocated, and then install on that. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.